geometry. Third, loci. To begin with, let us see the content. Friends, in this chapter, we are going to learn about 1. Definition of locus 2. Equation of locus 3. Point of locus and 4. Shift of origin of locus Let's start with the concept of locus. 1. Consider a lunar eclipse. If earth comes between the sun and moon, then the shadow of the earth falls on the moon and then lunar eclipse takes place. Similarly, out of 100 marks, if a child secures 35 marks, then he is said to have passed the exam. In both the conditions, there is certain condition to satisfy. That is, if earth is between sun and moon, then its shadow will fall on the moon and lunar eclipse will take place. In second case, if a child secures 35 marks, only then he will pass. Concept of locus is something similar to it, but it satisfies certain geometrical conditions. Consider a line segment AB. Consider the set of points which are equidistant from two points A and B. All such set of points if we join, then we get perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. So, points P, Q, R, S, T are equidistant from the points A and B and hence lie on the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Let us consider another example. Let angle AOB be given. Consider the set of points in the plane which lie in the interior of angle AOB and equidistant from OA and OB. This set of point is the internal bisector of angle AOB. In both the above examples, the set of points satisfy certain geometrical condition of equidistance, hence they are points of locus. And conversely, every point on the locus satisfy the given geometrical condition. A. Definition of locus A set of points satisfying some geometrical condition is called locus. Since locus is a set of points, we write locus as L equals to P, where P satisfies the given condition. B. Equation of locus Consider a circle in XY plane with the center C 7,7 and radius 5. That means, every point on the circle is at a distance of 5 units from its center C 7,7. So, all are points on the locus. Now, let Px, y be any point on the locus. Then, distance of C, P is equal to 5. So, by distance formula, distance of C, P is equal to square root of x minus 7 the whole square plus y minus 7 the whole square. That equals to 5. Squaring both the sides x minus 7 the whole square plus y minus 7 the whole square is equal to 5 square. Opening the brackets, x square minus 14x plus 49 plus y square minus 14y plus 49 is equal to 25. That is, x square plus y square minus 14x minus 14y plus 98 is equal to 25. So, x square plus y square minus 14x minus 14y plus 98 minus 25 is equal to 0. So, x square plus y square minus 14x minus 14y plus 73 is equal to 0. The above equation is called the equation of the locus of P x comma y which is nothing but the equation of the circle. In short, an algebraic relation between the coordinates x and y of any point on the locus satisfying the given geometrical condition is called equation of locus. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें. Point of the locus. If the given point satisfies the equation of locus, 
then it lies on the locus. If the point doesn't satisfy the equation, then it doesn't belong to the given locus. For example, consider the equation of locus x square plus y square is equal to 100. Let us name this as equation 1. Now, consider point A6, 8. So let us substitute x is equal to 6, y is equal to 8 in equation 1. So we get LHS is equal to 6 square plus 8 square that equals to 36 plus 64 that equals to 100 which is equal to RHS. As A6, 8 satisfies the equation of circle, hence it is the point of the locus. Similarly, point B minus 6, minus 8 and D6, minus 8 also satisfy the equation. Hence, they also lie on the locus. Now, consider the point C is 10, 8. Let us substitute x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 8 in the given equation of circle. So LHS is equal to 10 square plus 8 square that equals to 100 plus 64 that equals to 164 which is not equal to RHS. Thus, coordinates of C doesn't satisfy equation 1. Hence, C is not the point on the locus. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Shift of origin, friends, consider coordinate axis with center at the origin. Suppose the origin is shifted to 1,1, so the new x and y axis will be as follows. Now here, if the old origin 0, 0 gets shifted to minus 1, comma, minus 1, then only the new origin becomes 1, comma, 1. But the old origin is previous origin minus new origin. That is 0, comma, 0 minus 1, comma, 1. Hence, 0 minus 1, comma, 0 minus 1 will be the new origin. In general, if h, k is new origin and x, y is old origin, then shift of origin x is equal to x minus h and y is equal to y minus k. But here two things are to be noted. One, x and y axis are shifted parallel to themselves and not twisted and shifted. And two, Equation of the locus changes if we shift the origin. Find the locus of point P in each of the following cases where number 1. Abscissa of P equals its ordinate. Now let the coordinates of point P be x, y. Now in the first case x is equal to y is the required equation of locus. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। ऐसे ही और एडुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें।